Today I'm going to try and make a uh, little downhill racetrack uh, for one of the grandkids' uh, birthday party. Uh, so I've got a little plan kind of sketched up, kind of play it by ear a little bit. Um, I did go to the store and pick up one piece of wood. I think the rest of it I can make from my scraps I've got, or use the scraps I've got around here. So this is a one by 12 by six feet long board. It's got a little crack down here at this end here. Try to work around that. So we're gonna put that at uh, about two feet high and uh, put in four lanes for cars to race down the ramp. So I've got some other scrap pieces of wood to make some legs and uh, got some hardboard here that I'm gonna slice up to uh, make the lane separators. So the outside rails are gonna be about um, three quarters of an inch high plus three quarter inch of the board and then I'm gonna tack it into the side of the board. So I gotta set this at uh, probably an inch and a half. So uh, zero is right up against the blade. So that's gonna be an inch and a half. So the next one, uh, I'm going to put those in grooves, and I'm going to need uh, three sets of those. Uh, they are going to be uh, three quarters plus three eighths, so uh, inch and an eighth. Lock that down. Separators are done. Now I'm going to cut the uh, uh, the grooves in the 12-inch board so that these can be uh, set in the grooves. So I've got some. The wider ones will be on the outside, and I'll set these in the grooves. So I got to have three rows of these. So we'll do some measurements and uh, cut some grooves. So it's gonna be just it's gonna be uh, just a little bit. The board's uh, eleven and a quarter, so we divide that by three. I think we're gonna end up with about uh, just over two and uh, three quarters. We're gonna set the blade depth to be approximately halfway down. And uh, I'll have to cut it uh, probably a couple times to get the groove wide enough for the uh, strip to go in. Um, just for fun, I might uh, take one of these uh, boards here and do a little practice cut first. Basically cut uh, cut the groove, move it over. I think it's like a sixteenth sixteenth of an inch, and then uh, this hard board uh, fits right in there. And that will be one of the center rails for inside the board. It's got a little bit of clearance. We'll put some glue in there, tack it in with uh, with a brad nailer.
table's uh, my table's not quite slippery enough to uh, get the board to slide across here, so I got to put a little spacer in there. this uh tear the setup down i want to make sure that the that this piece does fit in there might have had a little bit of a narrow spot or two i can see one right there so i'm going to recut it once One's going to be somewhere down the middle. Uh, so 11 and a quarter, five and a half, five and an eighth or so. That's going to be pretty close. that one just a little wider. Now, I got these three, those are the three footers. Uh, these pieces are a little bit short, so I'm just gonna cut them off to the uh, same length. Nothing's exact, but uh, there's the three inside rails. I'm 
We're gonna use uh, three quarter inch brad nails and uh, blow them in at an angle so they shouldn't go all the way through and injure anybody, including myself, I hope. Shouldn't take too many of these to hold this in. I was thinking about glue, but they fit pretty good, so I'm gonna pour go the glue. good okay then we've got the uh, these are the wider strips that go on uh, each side okay now we'll put the uh, side rails on Let's see I'm gonna do this without injuring myself short so I'm gonna chop that off so they're the same length and angle just for get that chopped off All right, next, according to the plan, I'm gonna start working on the legs. I've got some uh, boards here that I had left over from a pallet. I've got one good uh, one by here. So according to my plans, I need a uh, two foot leg for each side. That's actually what's gonna hold it up for the angle. And gotta decide how long I want, how wide I wanna make that leg. So this is about a uh, four inch board, what's left of it. It's been cut once already. Uh, so I'm thinking I'm gonna go uh, one and a half, and that'll leave me like a one and an eight. So we'll get this thing set up for that. three feet long so I'm going to cut those down to uh, two feet or thereabouts doesn't have to be exact couple of uh, 16 inches for the supports so these are the legs they'll go right about here and then I need a, uh, a 16 inch piece to run across here like this and that'll be the cross support for it if I can get the uh, 16 inches out of this piece and 32 one footers left that'll uh it's a little short for that we'll work on that so we're going to drill um two two holes on each side for the leg and the support 
at 12 inches and 24 inches or thereabouts. And so I'm going to go get some hardware. Um, I think I'm going to use some quarter inch lag bolts. I think I've got some short ones. And uh, we're going to drill some holes. Get this leg mounted here. That'll sit there. And the uh, 16 inches will go, 16 inches will go about here. And that should be pretty good. And uh, we're going to make the supports for the legs a little bit wider. Um, so this board's roughly 12 inches wide. At the bottom, we're going to put a cross piece on there at the bottom of the legs. They'll be uh, two feet wide. So this thing will be uh, less likely to, to fall over or get when it gets bumped into or something. All right, let me get some bolts. Okay, so we're going to drill, or I did drill the holes. Um, 3 16 drill inside the table or the ramp. Um, that's for the threads. And then... Uh, quarter inch clearance hole into the legs. The leg hole's a little bit offset here, so when the leg gets folded up, that it lines up with that hole and this will be flush, so when it folds up, it'll be relatively flat. And this one here folds up here, and this one here is gonna fold up a little bit high like this, and there's a reason for that. So it's not gonna be flat against this. So it's a little hard to see in that view, but it'll all become clear shortly. So because this isn't going to be flat, this one's going to be flat, I can go ahead and put this in. It's not driver. Looks like that quarter inch uh, clearance hole is not quite clear enough. That's all right. Now, this one here, I've got to actually. I want to clear this, so I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, hit this uh, counter counter bore this out a little bit, so the uh, the nut and the washer will be below flush. So that means most of this is going to be uh, cut away. So I've got that uh, counterboard so that uh, when I put the uh, bolt and washer in, it stays a little bit uh, flusher, flusher. Okay, so I got those two on. Now, as I said, this one here is going to be at a little bit of an angle. Just like this. So I'm going to hit this with a sander. I'll put a little bit of a bevel on here so that it could still sit flat against his face.
And then I think I'll, uh, I'll also uh, put a little counter bore in here uh, to uh, sink the bolts in just a little bit. So, got that counterboard. I'll put a bolt and washer on there. Two different size heads on these uh, lag bolts. Make sure we get that second washer on. Folds up, they're going to be like that. Here's a little different perspective on it. So these are actually the main legs here. They'll end up being like that. And this piece here is actually gonna go on the inside and uh, uh, connect up to here. So that will give us that kind of a uh, angle. So now what I'm going to do is uh, make the cross supports for down here on the ground and also tie these two together. They're not just flopping around in the breeze. And for that, I'm going to use a couple of these pieces of scrap wood from uh, a different project. These are boards that I cut from a pallet. Not the best wood in the world to use, but once you've got it finished up, it's, it's what it is. So I'm going to chop that one off right there. Screw this onto these uh, two support legs. I'm going to use some uh, one and a quarter inch uh, drywall screws. I want to pre drill those holes also. I'm going to use a um, 564th drill bit for this.
course those two split. Okay, now we need a two foot board for the main leg. So, when I prop this up, this will flip right in between here. Now, the next thing is to get the, uh, the height and the angle right. The plan for me was to uh, put this at about 12 inches from here to here. Uh, it's a little tight right there, so I might uh, take the belt sander to this to give me a little more clearance, because I think I want these legs to be more like, like that. So we'll see if I can get, uh, get the belt sander on here and uh, sand that down just a little bit. All right, got the belt sander. Uh, eyeball where I need the sand. standing up. Perfect, I like that. Get this set. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna drill a hole in uh, the legs and then I'm gonna put a screw in the uh, support and basically the screws are gonna be above the surface and it's actually gonna snap into the uh, the support legs. So that way there's no threaded fasteners or anything. You just have to pry these legs just apart a little bit and uh, pop it out of there. I'm going to drill a small hole through here. That'll tell me where my screw in the pocket need to be. So I've got a hole here now and a hole here. here. So I'm going to find a couple screws in here to basically make a bump or a detent that'll fit into a hole in here. 
So I'm gonna go look for a couple of screws. So I've got a couple of screws, they're flathead screws, so they're gonna be a pain in the butt to put in. And I'm gonna countersink for this. So these screws will go in here, countersink goes in here. Now the nice thing about using a screw is it's going to be adjustable, so if I want it to stick out a little bit further, I can just unscrew it a little bit. And they're in the holes. That makes that pretty rigid. Pretty serious. And there's the ramp with the legs. Next, I'm going to work on a uh, a little uh, start thing that I'm going to put up here. So I've got to cut some slots in here to uh, clear the the lane walls. I'm going to go back to the uh, table saw and run some grooves into the board uh, about a three quarters of an inch deep, which is about halfway up, and that board will uh, go all the way down to this board. So this is how the fitment looks on here. So this will be raising and lowering on here to straddle this. So once I get the side pieces in, the pivot points in, uh, we'll see how well this works. I might have to bevel the edges a little bit so that it, uh, if there's too much slop so that it actually finds the, uh, the track. Okay, I uh, lost the video portion of the making of the, uh, the starting gate. So I'm gonna insert this little uh, video uh, showing some of the details of the starting gate. Uh, you can see here the, the saw cuts that I put in here to clear the lane dividers. Basically it's made up of uh, a couple scraps of wood. These are uh, probably about a one by, one by two, one on each end. This one here is a, another odd piece of wood. It looks like it's almost the piece of a two by four. Uh, this piece here was just a piece uh, from uh, a leftover piece from a pallet. And uh, when that's extended down, you can see as it rotates down, uh, it actually touches here so that you can't go too far. And I did mention the uh, handle that was added here. Three screws in here. All these connections have um, two drywall screws holding them together. 
This is the pivot. This is uh, a uh, long uh, drywall screw. Probably, I think that was a two inch, might have been a two and a half inch uh, screw, one on each end. These are little spacer blocks, just to make up the gap here. I didn't want to make the, uh, didn't want to make this too close to here for two reasons. One, I wanted to be able to get some screws in here. So I wanted some material here instead of having just a small joint. Uh, but also I didn't want to make it like a scissor where somebody could get their fingers in here and uh, get them not sliced off, but kind of cut. So that's kind of the detail of the starting gate. Apologize for quality of this. Also in the background, you can probably hear my generator running. We lost our power last night due to a storm. All right, we're all set to go. It's all set, got three cars in here. Let's see them go. See the yellow one won this time. The red one was in the lane before. Was it in the slow lane? It was, the red one was in that second lane. The change is just switching around. Yeah. Well, anyway, it works. Cool. So I tidied up a couple of things. Um, I shortened the legs up just a few inches because uh, it seemed like cars were a little bit fast. I put a little handle here on the uh, rack, the starting rack, and I think we're all done. So now I'm going to fold it up so we can put it in its uh, storage position. So we spread the legs out a little bit. Roll that up. The store is nice and flat. Almost as tall as I am. <laughs>